Nell'appuntamento di Dal Vivo di oggi parliamo dell'appuntamento del 10 giugno alla Triennale di Milano con il team Irpin Reconstruction Summit che presenta la Working Session uh, Reconstruction of the City Case Studies and Guidelines e in collegamento con noi oggi c'è Irina Yarmolenko, uh, la PN di, PM di Irpin Reconstruction Summit. So, hi, uh, can you tell hi. us something about this uh, event and this project? Uh, thank you for having us here. We are from Irpin. It is uh, seven kilometers uh, from Kiev, from uh, capital region. And uh, we lose 76% of our city and become campaign for reconstruction of our city. As uh, we stop the enemy, the Russian army was stopped in Irpin, so we save Kiev. And uh, we lost a lot of infrastructure and uh, we have uh, more than 16,000 uh, homeless people, uh, more than uh, 2,000 uh, households we lose and uh, more than 4,000 apartments are not available anymore. At the same time, we start rethink of our city how to build that better, how to follow European standards, how to make it comfortable for our citizens, because we also accept 20,000 internal refugees. So today we are again in Milan and uh, we meet with a number of international institutions, European institutions, and uh, we are going to present our results, which we done during one year in Triennale, in the frame of architectural week. And uh, we are inviting uh, all citizens and specialists specialist tomorrow for, uh, for Saturday at 9 o'clock. Uh, we are going to have location in Triennale. We're going to present our architectural projects for reconstruction because uh, our volunteers, citizens or Ukrainians, they have created pro bono for free, how Irpin can look like like in you. And the same, we have important stakeholder and a big international company, Gensler, from, based in the United States, who are coming here, representatives who are coming here, and tomorrow they're going to present a full vision of smart reconstruction of the city. Uh, so why did you choose Irpin as a, a city of reconstruction for this project? As I said, we lose 76% and I lose, used to live in Irpin. So for me, it's a yes. personal story. I lose uh, also everything. I was escaping with my son and my mom from this city. And I feel my responsibility, personal responsibility, to help my city being abroad. And I um, invited international and Ukrainian specialists to unite for our city like and become a model for reconstruction for other cities and uh, it's personal story but at the same time we believe it can be helpful story for other cities as well we united a number of architects all over the world from more than 50 companies from 10 countries it's chile netherlands uh, United States, uh, Italy. Italy is an amazing uh, country with amazing people. Uh, we met yesterday again with Stefano Boeri and it is one of our stakeholders from Italy. We are grateful for Terdes Home Foundation uh, and a uh, number of other Italian uh, organizations. Uh what is the, your role in, um, in this project? I am a project manager and my role to organize 300 people, like 200 architects, designer, project managers, to give them technical tasks, like what our city expected, and to ask them whether it's correct what we expected, if no, to analyze with to unite citizens to analyze what citizens expected from their cities. We unite already 100 citizens uh, in involved to different working groups 
professional working groups like educational group, architect group, urbanism group, uh, sport group to give us their thoughts around what kind of city they are expected. So we manage this process and we write in a new strategy from about the occupied cities. Also, I am uh, I am a project manager for international affairs of this project. So I united international stakeholders from different countries, make them connected and make them connected not just between them, but also with Ukrainian architects and Ukrainian and our European citizens. Uh, what is the peculiarity of this project? I read on the internet that you are doing eco-sustainability um, reconstruction. Yeah, exactly. Our task to rebuild the city in a smart way, with the way of build back better, with the ecological and sustainability decisions. So two products of our uh, project. First one is a physical reconstruction of uh, buildings, which can be chosen for charity reconstruction by different institutions with help. We are a bridge for that. We are local consultant on this. Second project, it's a writing uh, new strategy and new master plan, smart master plan with sustainable decision, with ecological decision, with uh, economically restart decisions, etc. Um, so, um, are you working with Abzin Ita Italia? Hamzin Italia is our strategic partner, as uh, Domenic Vito, who is the head of the project. He is uh, our consultant since already one year, and we are very grateful for having Italia for this uh, kind volunteering support and advices and developing internationally the project management of uh, our idea. Hubzin Italia gives us a lot of uh, opportunities to be contacted with Italian organizations and also to keep our relationship with them. And as well, they were our advisors. Domenico Vito is our advisor to how to smart, build, uh, rebuild smart. Domenico Vito, uh, together with Green Building Council Italy, analyzed our buildings in uh, according to the LED protocols. And uh, Domenico Vito is an organizer of uh, uh, Triennale event and uh, he always doing great uh, on the way of, uh, uh, of uh, developing our project in, with the, defining the goals, the tasks, and the vision of the project. Okay, and uh, what can we do as a citizen and Milanese citizen uh, to help your project? We are kindly invite all uh, possible stakeholders like project managers to help us with a small like project. We invite architects and designers to choose infrastructure and to give smart solution or urban planning. We invite uh, journalists to inform locals uh, and uh, different societies about our problem and our big mission to make to rise ambition be smart cities not just in ukraine but also in europe as well to have to show that re resistance that even being under attacks being without basic needs still we can not lose this way in vision to avoid smart decision and comfortable decision for citizens. We invite different foundations and fundraising companies to help us in investing companies because we are a very beautiful city for investment. We used to be one of the great cities for this in different rates. So we invite investors to come with their business ideas and be first who even with a big risk start thinking about their potential because we are very close to the capital of Ukraine and it's a great market for them. We also invite city councils, uh, all city councils in uh, Italy to become uh, our partner cities, sign memorandum and to take under patronage, for example, one residential complex to help us with the rebuilding to give uh, our families opportunities to get back their homes because if Every city in Italy would choose 
just one residential complex and rebuild it as it was done by our twinning city. Uh, it means that we Irpin will be rebuilt very fast, and uh, we are very grateful for our twinning city like Miami. We signed twin the partnership with Miami. We signed partnership with Kashkai from Portugal. We have a number of uh, uh, twinning city also in United States, in Mexico, in uh, and today we visited Monza, and we also believe for future partnership with other cities. As well, we met with a councillor from Milan, and we believe it also can be a bridge for next steps all together. So, thank you very much to join our uh, program, and I hope that you can uh, reach all your goals, and uh, that everyone in Italy can help you to uh, rebuild Irpin. Um, thank you very much. Thank you for your interest, for your solidarity, and your kind heart for our country.